All right, hi again everyone. This is Ivan from BrittanyBits.com. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to connect uh, one of these IR receivers. And uh, we already did a tutorial before on the um, IR remote. So this is basically the same thing, but it uses RF signals to uh, communicate through walls. So this is useful if your project is in another room, let's say, and you still want to control it. So you could use one of these little modules here with this remote, which has four buttons to actually control the behavior of your project. Uh, the way we're going to do this today is that we're going to use the uh, seven segment, uh, which uses the I2C bus, and it only needs two wires to actually display, plus voltage and ground. Uh, basically, the way this works is that there's four pins corresponding to four buttons and when you press and hold the button that pin will go high and when you release it it'll go back to low. Uh, there's another pin here at the end this is kinda like a trigger pin basically this pin will go high if you press any of these buttons so this pin is connected to any of these buttons and the other ones are connected to a specific one. So we're using a breadboard we're taking the voltage and ground from the UNO putting it on the breadboard rail because both of these modules use 5 volts and then we're taking from the breadboard rails to power these two modules. Now this is not very complicated but it's, a, it's nice to know how they work and how to connect them properly to use in your project. Uh, a note, I put a little alligator clip on the antenna here like you see to act as an antenna but uh, what you would do is that you would coil a piece of wire and then solder it to that little antenna position there. Connections, well, f they're all digital pins, so we go from the modules to any of those pins here, and uh, that's it. So we're going to cut here, we're going to go look at the code. Code is very easy. Uh, we're going to explain how it works, and uh, the way we're going to do it, we're going to display the clicks, so A will be 1, 2, 3, 4, and we'll display 1, 2, 3, 4 here when we press any of these buttons, and it'll go to 0 when there's no button to press. So let's go take a look at the code, and we'll be right back and test it with uh, the remote right here. So see you soon. All right, so this is the code we're going to use today to control our RF receiver. It's not too long, so at the beginning we're going to include the library needed to, uh, dis to use our 7-segment display right there. Uh, these are the, va the values that are available for display using this library. We're going to use 0 through 4 today. Next, we're going to define our pins that are connected to the display, so 3, 4, and then we tell the library which uh, one of those pins are. Then we're going to initialize the display, and we're going to set the brightness, bright typical, bright typical equals 2, dark is 0, and you can set that to whatever you want. And then we do a delay of 1.5 seconds. Now in our main loop, we're doing while loops. So while digital read 9 is low, and every other pin is low also, meaning I'm not pressing any button, then this while loop will be true, so it will display at position 3 as 0. Now this is going to loop until I press a button, making one, uh, making one of the pins high. So once it does that, I'm going to get out, I'm going to clear the display, because I want to get rid of the 0 that we were displaying, and then one of those while will be true, because one of those pins will be high. So let's say I press B button on the remote, then this is, becomes high, and I'm going to display at position 1, 2. And it keeps looping like that until I release the button, making the pin low again. So after that, when I release, I'm going to clear the display again to get rid of that 2 that it was being displayed on the 7 uh, segment display. And then we go back to the top. Everything is low again because I'm not pressing any button. So now it's displaying the zero, and that's it. That's the way this works. So we're going to compile the code and upload it to our Uno, and we'll go back to our breadboard and see the results. All right, so we're back. Uh, we uploaded the code to our Uno. I'm powering the Uno. Everything is ready to go. Uh, it's showing a zero because we haven't pressed any button, so it's in that while loop. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to press each button in sequence and we should see the results on our um, little se seven segment display here. So here we go. Press number A for one. And I'm holding it so it's keep the ones there. 
release, press number two, release, three, and four. And there you go. So one, two, three, four. So the code is pretty fast. I mean, when I press it, it reacts. Uh, the while loops are good for that, meaning right now it's stuck in that loop that no, no button is pressed, so it's waiting for a response. And when I click any button, one of those pins goes high, so it gets out of the while loop and checks the other one. So there you go. I mean, it's not something hard to do, but it's nice to know how to connect these properly, and the while loops are good for that type of behavior that we were trying to achieve. So once again, thanks again for watching, guys. Um, subscribe to our YouTube channel. We put about two tutorials every week. Uh, you can follow us on Twitter, too, to be uh, notified when we put up new stuff. And as always, you can visit BernieBiz.com to get the schematics, the code we use, and a little bit more explanation on this project. So until next time, thanks for watching.